Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a timeline content with Elementor. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. If you don't know, a timeline section presents numerous events that occurred in a certain period of time. It's usually built with three components, which is the year, the event, and the spine to connect between the different events on the timeline. We can build the timeline with a basic HTML widget or with designated timeline widget, and I will show you both ways in this video. Let's start uh, with the basic HTML widget. We'll go to our example website over here, and we will look for the HTML widget, and we will drag it to the content side on the right. Great, if you already have the HTML structure for the timeline, go for it and paste it uh, on the left side. Otherwise, go back to my blog post and here you will have a link to the W3School website where you can copy a basic HTML timeline structure and paste it inside the Elementor HTML widget. So let's copy the HTML code and we will paste it here. We can see the timeline on the right side. Obviously, it's unstyled at this moment. So we will go back to the W3School website. We'll scroll down till we see the CSS rules and we will copy the CSS rules from here. We'll copy all of it. Back to our website, we'll switch to the advanced tab, scroll to custom CSS and paste it over here. But the only thing we need to change that instead of applying the background color to the body, we will change it to selector in order to apply the background color only to our section, to the timeline section, just like so. And we can see that it looks really good. Of course, if you know basic HTML and CSS, this is just the starting point. You can absolutely add more events, change the colors and the sizes and do whatever you want with it. Now, of course, this is just one HTML example out of many. If you need more inspiration and more examples, just go back to my written blog post, scroll down, click on this link. It will take you to this website with many other HTML timeline examples. You can browse between all of them. When you found the one that you like, click on demo and code. It will take you to the CodePen website where you can copy the HTML and the CSS. Let's take this one for example. We'll copy the HTML. We'll create a new HTML widget. We will paste the HTML over here. Of course, we'll go back to copy the CSS rules. Paste it over here. And from now on, you can just take it forward, change the CSS, change the HTML, and customize it exactly as you wish. When you're done, just click on Update, and you will see it on your web page. Now, because Elementor doesn't have a default timeline widget, if we would like to use a timeline widget, we will need to add a widget library to Elementor. There are many libraries that will add extra widgets to Elementor. And in this video, I'm going to show you Happy Add-ons. So the first step is to add the free version of Happy Add-ons. So just go to Plugins, Add New, search for Happy Add-ons, install and activate it. And now you'll need to get the pro version of Happy Add-ons. You can get it from the official website. You have the link in the description down below. It will cost you about $39. Or you can also get it from us for only $4.99 when the only difference is that we don't provide technical support. But besides that, it's the exact same plugin. After downloading the pro version, just upload it and activate it on your WordPress website and go back to your Elementor screen. Great, now let's create a new section, just like so. And here in the widgets list, I am going to scroll down and because we activated the happy add-ons, version or plugin we can see all the happy add-ons widgets over here we have many many in the free uh, plugin and because we also have the pro we can see all the pro widgets over here under the happy add-ons pro and inside the pro widgets we have the timeline widget so i'm just going to drag it 
to our empty section. And here under the presets, we have 13 different presets of timelines. So definitely browse between all of them. They have many pretty ones over there, and I'm sure you're going to find something that you really like. Of course, we can style and customize any part of this timeline, including the icon, the events, etc. So let's expand the timeline tab, and here we can see that we can add more uh, events. If you can't see the added event, just change the time of the event, and then you will see it added to the bottom of the timeline. Of course, you can drag and to reorder the events. Now, when expanding each of the events, you can change anything regarding that event. You can change the icon, you can change the content, the year, the button, etc. So you can definitely play with any component of the event. Another cool feature about this widget, under the settings tab, by enabling the show scroll pre option, we will paint and fill the spine color dynamically when scrolling down the timeline. As you can see here, we can change it to any other color. It's a very cool feature and I thought you may like it. Now, of course, because it's an Elementor widget, we can style and customize every part of the widget from inside the Style tab. For example, if you want to change the title color, we're just going to expand the title option. And here we can change the color to any other color that we would like. So this is just exactly like any other default Elementor widget. Now, Happy Add-ons is only one library out of many that will add extra widgets for Elementor. If you want to see a bigger list, go back to my written blog post. And here at the bottom, you will have a full list of all the libraries that you can use in order to add timeline widgets to Elementor. You can check them individually one by one, or you can check our unlimited downloads plan and get them all together.